You mentioned you've got a VR headset before we started. Yes, I've got a uh, a Vive. It's down, sitting down right there. I'm not sure if you can see it. It's I hanging off the, think I can the steering wheel there. Um, that's something I bought from Cashies a little How while back. Cause did I did you pay for it? I think I paid like it's it's it was a very similar price to an Oculus Quest, mm. like six hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred bucks or something like that. It was okay. a relatively good price. I like, I didn't want to buy a Quest because I'm like I don't want to deal with Facebook stuff. I <laughs> yeah, fair enough. I, I rarely use that sort of stuff, so you know. Um, so I went all right. Let's see what we've got. What options you've got for Linux and that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. Two options aside from the Quest is um. The Valve Index and the, the original HTC Vive. They're the ones that work the best. Right. So I'm like, well, I'm never going to be able to afford a Valve Index without first making sure I've got a job and stuff like that. So I'll just, I'll just dish out and see what secondhand Vives there are. Mm -hmm. so, I, so I grabbed that thing and it works, honestly, pretty, pretty well, all things considered. Um, software is... It's... Not great. Not great. Okay. Like Steam VR has its problems even in Windows. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just it's it's honestly pretty nuts with the way that everything's set up. If you look at the Steam VR for Linux um GitHub page, mm -hmm. right, you'll find that it has like three hundred open issues at any one time. Things do get fixed on there and you occasionally see one get marked as closed. <laughs> yeah. But it's like the vast majority have been up there for a good amount of time. And it's, mm. I understand that Valve probably aren't working on this as much as like a Steam Deck or something like that, because, you know, that's where the money is. But um, it's sort of, it's, it needs, like Valve side of things honestly needs a bit of help, especially on the Linux thing, because Linux only exacerbates the issues that are there on Windows at this point. <gasps> I'm looking at it right now. There are issues here open from 2018. Yeah, it's it's pretty bad. It's it needs a bit more attention than it's currently getting, I think, if we want to make it truly good. So, in the state that it's currently in, what is the experience like? It's smooth enough. Mm. Um there's a lot of uh, features that I'd say are missing. Mm -hmm. Like, just starting up Steam VR and running it, it works. Right, right. Like, provided you are running the beta, the Steam VR beta. Don't run the Steam VR beta for Linux. Just run Steam VR beta itself. The Steam VR beta for Linux is such an old version at this point that it's not even a, a, a good thing. Okay. So you've got to run the beta. Mm -hmm. The beta is more stable than the stable release. <laughs> okay. Um... Once you run that, there are a few buttons mm -hmm. in the interface that do absolutely nothing <laughs> because they don't because the functionality isn't there on Linux. Right. Um, like anything that concerns virtual desktop won't work. Of course, yeah. Um, for obvious reasons. Mm -hmm. Um, and various other situations won't work either. I'm trying to remember what they are, but they they come as thing. And then you've got AMD versus NVIDIA. You run a 20... Was it 2070? Yes, it's a 2070. Um, yeah. <laughs> I wish I had... I wish I could afford a new graphics card at this <clears throat> point in time. Mm -hmm. It will change eventually, and I will probably try and go for like a 6900 XT or like a thing when I get the money to do so. But it's yeah, yeah, just yeah. a matter of getting the money first mm -hmm. so what games do you play with vr uh mainly beat saber i'll ah, be honest fair enough i have jumped into minecraft for vr with mm -hmm. vr like using the minecraft xr mm -hmm. mod so there's two minecraft uh vr mods there's vivecraft which is the original mm -hmm. and then there's minecraft xr which uses the <clears> new <throat> open xr platform instead mm -hmm. of the thing I did come across a weird issue when trying to run that initially. Mm. It doesn't work at all with Steam VR. Okay. <laughs> like you can get it running, but you can't use Steam VR. You have to use Monado, which I found out in general is way more stable than Steam VR for Linux is. 
but it only supports the XR platform unless you're using, unless you try and use something like Open Composite. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> Open Composite's there for like, it, it has a, the ability to translate Open VR to Open XR. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, but it's not perfect. There's a bunch of stub, a bunch of auto generated stubs there that need to be <laughs> filled in, I think. It's always good to see. And, with the way Monado is set up, it's sort of like, so you've got um, different drivers for different headsets. Right. Um, it has a built-in Vive driver, but it doesn't use that one. It uses the LibServe driver. Right. Now, the LibServe driver handles all communication with a headset directly, <laughs> um, and Monado just tells it to do certain things. I have noticed one weird thing with two different... Uh, USB communications platforms that has resulted in some weirdness mm-hmm. in terms of releasing the headset so you can switch back to Steam VR when you need to. Um, and there's one one issue I really wish wasn't set up like it was, and that's the calibration system. So Steam VR has a really straightforward calibration system. If anything was the best part of Steam VR, it would be that part. Abs- yeah, because... I, I've used it a little bit in. Um my fun of your uni project getting everything working i it was yeah good yeah it's like put your put your headset on the f- put your head head controls on the floor that's where the floor is yep trace around the room it's good it's set it works with Mona- with lib survive it tries to automate that process uh-huh so what it does is every single time you stop moving your any any tracked object Uh it will record that position and add that to the calibration right the problem is is unless you you start have the calibration setup started and you do this a little bit before you start playing the games because games generally aren't designed to go is there a new calibration Right. No, okay. there's not. Or yes, there is. No, they don't do that. They go, that's the calibration. Okay, I'll use that calibration. So they don't update calibration with, with the Monado drivers. Well, so yeah, if you're usually playing rooms the game, aren't moving. It, if, if you're playing the game, it won't, it won't update the calibration. So the first time I played Minecraft XR, because I initially started with the controllers on my desk, mm. that's where the floor was. Right. So I was like... Standing here, I'm like, why am I three meters tall? Yep. Um, and then I realized if I duck down, I can look underneath the blocks and I'm, I'm suddenly looking through the world. It's like, oh, I have x-ray. Cool. <laughs> but it was just, it was, this isn't great. Eventually, I realized that you had to, because I didn't realize that was how you calibrated things. I just mm-hmm. assumed it would just work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but no, eventually I did move it around, put it in certain positions, make sure that Everything's working and it works. There's one other issue that I don't like that I wish it would have, and that is an ability to spe- specify where the front is. So on Steam VR, right, mm-hmm. menus mm-hmm. will always put themselves in a specific orientation. Right. Right? So for me, it's this way. Right. Um, and that makes it so that... Like in in a space like this, which is honestly way too small, <laughs> um, I have have a tendency to hit the desk quite a lot when I'm playing it. Um, it makes it possible for me to play something like Beat Saber. Right. The one time I used Open Composite, it automatically put the front here because that's where my lighthouse is. Ah. Okay. Um. Which made it impossible for me to play because I suddenly had to walk where the desk was to be in the center of the of the area. Mm-hmm. So it's like, yeah, I'm gonna have to just use Steam VR straight up instead of forcing it onto um, Open Composite and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And then there's the act, the fact that Proton Games on Steam VR by default will use Steam VR regardless of whether you have another platform running. Right. So you have to go in there and set like three or four launch options oh, just that's to not make that it use something then. else. But it's 
with XR and VR, there's a couple of files in the in your dot files there that mm-hmm. specify what platform you're using, and it totally ignores that. You have to specify that stuff manually if you want to change it mm-hmm. for a Proton based game. I understand Valve doing that because you know the generally expected you'd use Steam VR, but mm-hmm. overall, apart from those weird issues with calibration and front facing and all that, Monado is. 10 times more stable than Steam VR. Um, so it's it's a mixed bag anyway you look at it. And mm. I generally don't recommend people try it unless unless they're willing to jump through some hoops and 